Oh, and now to the one British guy on the uh, on the panel, Tony Temple. Um, when, Hello. When you were growing up in Bristol in the UK, did you always dream of having your picture on a dog jacket? Absolutely. That's was the pinnacle of my video game career. Thank you so much for showing that picture. It's a pleasure, Tony, it's a pleasure. Um, perhaps you could explain to people, now people might know the game Missile Command, um, however you seem to have got a record on a specific setting called Tournament Setting. Perhaps you could explain to these good people in the audience, what does it mean to play Missile Command on Tournament Setting? Yeah, um, so uh, Missile Command, for those of you who are familiar, you'll be, the, the usual settings are you get a bonus city or a bonus life every 10,000 points. Um, one of the challenges that um, uh, you have when you're having video game world record tournaments is people could sit and play that game for days on end. So it just becomes completely in, in, impractical. So uh, tournament settings are where you get no additional cities. So if you're familiar with Missile Command, you get six cities to start, but you don't get any more. Um, and uh, without going on and running over my time, pool, no. It, it generates a completely different game. So great marathon players do not translate well to great tournament players because you can't rely on a bonus city when your game's over, your game's over. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty brutal. Now, I understand you've been playing Missile Command since you look like that. Now, the first thing we want to say is smoking is not big nor clever, and it also leads to harm. So just get that out there. But I would love to know, you've been playing Missile Command. I want a copy. You've been uh, playing Missile Command since you are a teenager. You're still playing it now, and it's not just playing it, you're really interested in the history of it. Has the game become an obsession for you? Why am I being ridiculed just because you know me and I'm British? Where, where did you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> it is brilliant. Okay. What was the question? Has, is it different? Why now? I love you is the question. Is it different now from... Yeah, what? yeah is it, has it become an obsession for you? Has the game become an obsession? Oh, I see. Um, I, I, it, I suppose any of these guys will tell you when you're going for a world record, you, you have, as David just said, you, you have to get underneath the game. It's, it's not just throwing in a quarter and you know, giving it a go and getting better at it. You have to study it, you have to break it down, you have to get under, under the skin of the game. Um, funnily enough, Paul and I uh, uh, visited a friend before we came here in uh, Canada, a guy called Jay Askey. He's a, he's a fantastic Missile Command player. Um, I've never met him before, we've kind of spoken on email. And we get to his house and obviously we, we, we had a game of Missile Commander and while I'm playing he's, he's explaining to me about how he studied my game and how he's watched hundreds of videos of people playing Missile Command and broken them down and pressed pause and worked out, you know, how, just how to dig underneath the depth of the game. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's an obsession, but yeah, for sure, you know, clearly, clearly to get a world record on a video game, I suppose you have to have a, an unhealthy interest in, in that particular title. Enough about your unhealthy interests, uh, Tony. Um, I do understand, actually, though, that you don't just play Missile Command, you actually write uh, about video games as the arcade blogger. Um, what was sort of the motivation to actually start blogging about classic games? Oh uh, yeah, so um, arcadeblogger.com is, is really uh, the arcade website that I always wanted to see and that I wasn't finding. So we have forums, obviously, and those are great and those are really interesting. And you have videos on YouTube and you have Wikipedia and you have a few guys who sort of blog a little bit. Um, but I really wanted to kind of pull everything together and, and, and sort of get it all, all in one place. So it's, um, it, it's a site that doesn't just talk about uh, video games per se, but it talks about the um, human story behind video games and just kind of looks at video games from a slightly different angle. Um, if you come to the panel at six o'clock, you'll hopefully learn more about the, the uh, kind of stories I tell on, on the blog. Thank you. So, Missile Command World Record Holder and Conscientious Chronicler of Video Game History. Chronicler. Uh, okay, uh, let's have a round of applause for Tony Temple! Yeah.